Be careful. You nearly hit me. <laughs> Look out! Sorry! Sorry! Nearly dug up a talking tree! What are you thinking? You must have imagined that voice, Marion. Quite right. There is no such thing as a talking tree. I'm not really a talking... Oh! Mr Tree! I'm so sorry I nearly hit you. Are you OK? I've never met a talking tree before. Not to mention a talking Christmas tree. This really is very magical. Very, very magical. Very, 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 very... But... Don't worry. I'm not going to dig you up. Not now I know you're a real talking Christmas tree. Certainly not. No, no, no. I'll go and dig somewhere else. Oh, and I promise I won't bother you anymore. You won't even know I'm here. Later at Knapford, everyone was talking about Marion. Do you think Marion really saw a talking Christmas tree? I don't know, but she is funny. I know you all think I imagined my talking Christmas tree, but I've come to see someone who I know will listen to me, Sir Topham Hatt. Maybe Marion really did find something. Thomas's next train wasn't due for a while, so he decided to go and see for himself. The driver and fireman cleared away the branches, and suddenly Thomas saw what Marion had found. Oh, you're the coffee pot engine I replaced all those years ago. But you were on a siding near Farquhar Station last time I saw you. I was shunted here, there and everywhere before everyone finally forgot about me. I'm sorry, I forgot you. Uh... Glenn. My name's Glenn. And you're Thomas, aren't you? How are you doing on my old branch line? Fine, thank you, Glenn. Oh, yes. Being useful always makes an engine feel good. The next morning, Thomas came back to find Glenn again. And he brought someone with him. Oh, Thomas, you were right. This is a very special engine indeed. The Earl quickly arranged for Glyn to be taken to the Sodor Steamworks to be restored. Hmm. But then there was trouble. Hello, Thomas. <gasps> it's him. Oh, no. Oh, dear. How did you know we were here, sir? Oh, because the Earl kindly called to ask my permission to have Glyn restored. And I must say, I think it's a marvellous idea. I'm only sorry I didn't think of it myself. <gasps> so you're not going to scrap Mr. Coffee Pot after all? Of course not, Percy. And when you're fully restored and ready, Glyn, I hope you'll be happy to take me to the Earl's Christmas party. <gasps> of course, sir. It'll be just like old times. So on Christmas Eve, Glyn took Sir Topham Hatt up to Elfstead Castle. I must say, Glyn, you look as splendid as the day I built you. Thank you, sir. I feel it. Oh, there she is. That's the engine who found me. <clears throat> Hello! Nice to see you again. Oh, it's you! <laughs> I didn't recognise you with all those decorations. I thought you disappeared. But I suppose you planned to come here all along. You being a Christmas tree and all. And you look more magical than ever now with all those lovely Christmas lights. Welcome to Ulfstead Castle, Glyn. And thank you, Thomas, for rescuing our Christmas coffee pot. Another engine working here at the castle is the best present I could have wished for. Merry Christmas, one and all. Merry Christmas! But traveling in the wintry weather, wasn't easy for Harold, either. Ah, oh, this snow! I can barely see where I'm going! <laughs> so Harold was late with the letters, too. And Hero couldn't wait at Vickerstown any longer. He had to go. Hero hurried across the bridge and onto the mainland. Hero! Hero! 
Hero! Hero, wait! I can't stop Harold. I'm already late. I waited for Posse to bring the mail, but he never came. But that's why I'm here. Percy got stuck in a snowdrift, and I've got his mail for you. <gasps> Percy, you've brought me my fuel. Oh, I don't know what to say. You helped me when I was stuck yesterday, so I'm now helping you. Oh, thank you, Percy. It's like I always say. Christmas is a time for goodwill to all people and engines. And even whirly birds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Percy and Harold realized that they were both really useful in their own ways. And together, they had made sure that the children of Sodor got the gifts they had asked for on Christmas Day. People take railways for granted these days. Mm, they don't realize how much rail travel has opened up the world. Express coming through! Oh, come on, old timers. Some of us have got work to do. Stephen, get out of my way! Show some respect for your elders. Sorry, Gordon. We're racing! <laughs> You call that racing? I was winning races before you were even a sketch on a drawing board, young Gordon. <laughs> oh, good one, Stephen. <laughs> Would you like a glass of milk with that, young Gordon? <laughs> before long, everyone had heard about Stephen and Glyn's race and wanted to see it for themselves. Hello, hello! Make way for the rocket! This is my friend, Glyn. He's a coffee pot engine. Hello! <laughs> thank you! Oh, 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 thank you! Well, you two have certainly caused more confusion and delay than I've seen for many years. And I don't usually approve of racing. Especially on the main line. Oh dear, I'm sorry, sir. This is all my fault. No, no, it's mine, Glenn. <laughs> Actually, I think I'm partly to blame. Millie explained everything. But I'm glad to see you two have finally made friends. Did anyone actually win the race? No, sir. We came in together. Oh, that's marvelous. Especially since you'll be working together at the castle. Together? But I thought... I am going to open a railway museum, Stephen, and my star attraction will be both of you. Oh, oh that's fantastic. How marvellous. I agree with Sir Topham about not racing on the main line, but if we were to hold a race elsewhere, Perhaps we could have a classic engine race every year. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 oh. oh it's just wonderful, isn't it?